Welcome back to New Kid Farming. Keenan here. Dandelions are growing, weeds are growing, grass is trying to grow. It's time to get farming. So let's get this project started. Stay tuned. Today's project on the old farm is down here in this bottom ground. We got to fix this waterway. For years they've let it go and there's been a lot of erosion. There was even some trees in here that we knocked down. We got to clean all this up so we can get the planter and the combine through here. It should be a nice gentle slope. We'll plant this with grass because it is a low point. That way we won't have more erosion. Unlike what the other farmers did before, they just plowed right through here and tore it all up. You can see here I'm kind of making it a lot better. And then at the ends, on the sides by the creek, we'll probably even dam it up a little bit because the ground is actually depressed because of all the years of letting it erode. So we're gonna try to fix all that. Gonna take you in my brand new ride. Cause I got in the car and the keys are inside. I'm gonna take you for a ride in my brand new car. Nope, here's what it looks like for now way better we still got the one end we still got to add a berm over there along the bank we still got to fill that gully in that way when the river comes out it doesn't cut through as bad and then we got to seed all that so when it does come out it, it has a natural flow and it can't eat away at the dirt hopefully this spring we don't have any floods i don't think we will now i gotta go work on the planter got a tire to change and then that'll be ready to go so more fun we gotta take out this tree. Nothing fancy, I just gotta cut it up. This tree had fallen down from a storm we just had, so that's what us little farmers get to do. Get to clean up trees. Sometimes the property owners do it, sometimes we have to do it, but that's just the way it is. Well, there we have it. We cut it all up. Now I just gotta haul it off. Fun times. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I don't care who you are. I'm tired. One thing with farming, you're definitely not gonna need a gym membership. So I definitely should lose some weight for all you viewers who are concerned about me needing to shed a few pounds and I'm out of breath. Hey, we're farming. We're finally farming. I'm dirty, so I'm definitely farming because I am the dirtiest farmer ever. I swear the big guys can keep clean but I'm, I'm filthy within a few minutes I try all the time but we got the planter in the ground we're getting headway going here so hope you enjoy it this is gonna be a lot of fun I'm sure there'll be a lot of breakdowns stay tuned got a couple more fields to go yet just gotta get this thing to the field now it's time to unfold this thing there we go now we're ready to go. Still need cardio workout, but I'm gonna show you a little trick on seed bags. See this little little piece there? That's the side you take apart and you pull. I can do this one-handed and it unzips it. See? That's how you open up a seed bag. I'll do all these before I load them. Put you somewhere else, it's too windy. Like all good farming. I spoke too soon. We just ripped the arm off. Just broke completely off the bracket. Might be asking what did it? That tree branch. Doesn't take much. That's why farmers hate having these trees right on top of the fields. And I should have cut it back. Have to knock that out quick. Well, that's nice. Even button the cylinder. That's the expensive part. <laughs> Gotta wire it up now. Is 
We'll come back for this. I'll grab a pen, what the hell. Never fails. Hopefully we can get this goofball to plant a little bit. Now did that one tree take it out? No. I'm sure it's been hit so many times that it just weakened it over time. And here we go, you know. We got nothing over here. And we're using that one. I'm lucky it's a small field so I can get away with this, but man, you just can't make this up. This is this is why you gotta be real careful with stuff because you tear it up so easily. I didn't do all the damage to that thing. I'm sure it had a lot more abuse on it. It's kind of a bad setup because they're constantly getting hit by things. So in my opinion, it's a bad setup. This is not a planter that was built from the factory this way. I kind of bought a morphodited planter that someone built. It's really good, except the row markers need to fold down for trees and that kind of thing for my kind of farming. A lot of overplant too. Since I don't have row shutoffs like the fancy guys, that beeping you're hearing is the planter monitor. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. I know it's random. You're like, man, I really want to see laundromat stuff. But this is what I do. This is a little bit of all my investments. I buy farmland. I farm it because it's a hobby. I know you stopped playing. I'm the one that stopped you. Jesus. Um, but this is what I do with my money. I buy land, I buy equipment, and I farm. And it's something I love doing. And I make money. So it's a win-win. I got laundromats. I used to have houses, got rid of them. Laundromats and farming, that's pretty much where it's at. So, until next time, take it easy. Don't be a stranger. This is one thing about farming. You get to see some beautiful sunrises and sunsets. Maybe I just needed someone to hold me